everybody, this is Monarch 1111 with Monarch Ministries. My name is Leah Bing. Welcome to the channel. So I just wanted to share with you um, a bit about some stuff that happened yesterday. Um, I have been going through some stuff and searching for answers. And earlier this week on Monday, I could feel something in the spirit, like something about this week. And the, the feeling was this like excitement, this like unexplainable excitement just overwhelmed me all morning. And um, I released a word and a video about 20, that bus 23, bus 23 that I was behind and um, saying this week, this week was something was going to happen. Yesterday, um, I was led to prayer with my prayer group and um, something in the spirit was broken off of me yesterday and I was crying all morning. I cannot tell you the release that I felt. It was like these lingering generational curses um, that would just not leave these these curses that have been spoken over my life from generations ago. I mean, I you don't know exactly what it is, but um, something was broken off of me and I cannot tell you the immense release that I felt in my spirit and I was so light afterwards and I was just praising God and just thanking him just thank you Jesus thank you Jesus and it was what I had been looking for is it was the answer it was what I had needed been needing um for a while now things that the answers that I had been searching for and um you know it's really difficult sometimes on this walk um we don't always get the messages that the Lord is trying to send us, but, um, it's so important to just keep pushing forward every single day. You know, I saw something the other day that said, um, the worst thing that you can do is do nothing. And if you just, um, like try to ignore the issues, if you try to ignore the signs, if you just, um, ignore, you know, the things that God is trying to show you, I mean, pretty soon, I mean, he stops trying to reach you. He's, I mean, he's going to knock, he's going to knock, but you know, he's not going to force you to pay attention and to realize what's going on. You've got to seek him and you've got to repent and you've got to ask for guidance. You've got to get in that secret place. Um, and so that's what I have been doing. And the Lord came through for me yesterday and delivered me from something that had been lingering in my life and it's so weird because you know these things that that are happening through this walk is like it's a layered um it's a layered thing there's so many layers to it because they're these breaking these generational curses is um not easy this is this is something that takes a lot of time a lot of prayer a lot of dedication um in your life and you have to be dedicated to following through with this thing that God has chosen you to do and there's so many intricate layers to it and and this is like all spiritual that I'm talking about right now um, it's all about spirits and demons and generational curses um, that have been spoken over your life um, from things that you have no I mean you you don't have any idea about there are things from um, they're not even from your lifetime they're things from other lifetimes in your family history that you have no idea are there but they were holding you in bondage they were holding you in a prison they were a stronghold over your life and you couldn't pinpoint it but you knew something was wrong right so that happened and then later that afternoon um, the Lord just I have my feet on autoplay and he autoplayed a video from Kingdom Wealth Ministries that said um, your enemies have been arrested in the spirit and God has come through for you. And she said so many specific things about things that have been going on in my life in that video. And I knew it was confirmation from the Lord um, through that video that what I had experienced yesterday morning was what it was, that something was broken off of my life and God came to my rescue. He did not let me go down in the pit. So he is faithful. So, um, the spirit of the Lord was just all over yesterday morning. I mean, his presence was so tangible. I was just crying. I was just weeping. You guys, I could not stop weeping. I was so thankful. 
and uh, I could just feel the, the sweetness of the presence of Jesus um, and his love and, and his rescue that had come for me. And I released another word about seeing 2020, which means rescue and deliverance. And he came through. He came through this week and he saved me. And I am so grateful. And I, I just love Jesus so much because, you know, if we go to him and we humble ourselves before him and we ask for forgiveness, sometimes, you know, we don't even know exactly what it is that we did but um you do you just go to him and you seek him for guidance and, and you just start repenting and and you know changing things and um really looking in in detail to the things that have been happening in your life and, and so much is happening all the time it's so hard you know and all these messages are coming in from the lord and you're trying to sift through the enemy and um there was witchcraft going on you know the past couple weeks and um but the Lord came through. He did not let me go down into the pit. He came and saved me. And he comes after you. He does. He will come after you if you seek him, if you want him to, if if you desperately love the Lord and he can see that, he can see your heart. He is going to come for you in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. So I don't know if some of you have, have experienced that this week. If you experienced anything yesterday, a breaking in the spirit, a lifting in the spirit, something breaking off off of you yesterday. The, I'm, I am here to confirm for you that yes, it did happen. Yes, you were feeling that. Yes, yes, you are correct that something broke in the spirit. God came and he fought for us. I think I even said something about um, Exodus 14, 14, stand still and I will fight for you. You know, all we have to do is pray. All we have to do is seek the Lord and stay in his presence and he will fight our battles for us. These battles that we cannot see, the battles that are in the unseen realm, these demons, these generational curses over our life. And um, he will come through for us. He will come through for us in the name of Jesus. Um, right after that, I saw, um, I was driving and I saw all these signs that said no stopping, no standing, no parking. And they were really odd signs in very odd places. And then I just kept seeing there was a whole bunch of them. And um, I just heard in the spirit that there's no stopping. There's no stopping now. Um, there's there's no time to waste. Do not do not waste one more hour. Do not give the devil one more hour. There is no stopping this. This is happening. Your thing is coming through. It's happening for you. I'm sorry about that. Um, and then he took me to um, my my orders took me to Applebee's. Well, I looked up the uh, meaning of an Applebee, and it was really interesting because um, the the definition says a social gathering of farmers to help gather in the apple far harvest or process the fruit. So I thought that was really interesting that um, the spirit guided me to look at the meaning of Applebee's. Um, I never really thought about it before. Like Applebee's, it's just a restaurant. And um, But the spirit of the Lord was like, you need to look that up. Um, that's a thing. Like there are bees Um of the apple harvest and um that's what came up so that was really interesting and um the lord was just ministering to me that you know we are the farmers we are the farmers of this land that he will be giving us and that i'm talking in a spiritual aspect of this that we are the farmers we are the tenders to this land and we are all going to be coming together in this revival to um to bring in um heaven to bring in heaven on earth um, for the Lord, to be bringing in souls for the kingdom of God. And so um, this is the this is the harvest and we are to process this fruit. We are help, to help these people come to Jesus and bring in the harvest. So I just wanted to um, share that with you and confirm with you that um, this week there was a rescue and deliverance from the Lord and he fought for us and um, I just thank Jesus that, that he is so merciful. He is so merciful and he will not let us go down into the pit. So seek him, seek him and he will call to him and he will answer you. So seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened. Okay, I love you all with the love of Christ. Have a blessed day. Bye.